Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's see the coagulation of lyophilic. So till now we have seen the co coagulation of lyophobic where the particles used to hate the solvent, right? So here my particles love the solvent. It's a different uh, ball game here. So here if you see what is happening is the reason for the stability of these kind of uh, colloids where the particle loves the solvent they are two one is what one is the same as we had in lyophobic that is the charge charge on colloidal particles this charge correct it may be positive or negative this charge on colloidal particles this is one reason and the second is solvation. This is something which is not there in lyophobic because solvation is nothing but mixing of the colloidal particles into solvent. And this is nothing but the love of the colloidal particle for the solvent. That is my solvation. So there are two factors here, right? So if you want to, uh, for the stable, there are two factors for the stability of this kind of solution, lyophilic solution. So if you want to coagulate these kind of solution you can either remove the charge on the colloidal particle and this we can do by all the methods which we have explained just now right you have to just add electrolytes you can do dialysis you can do what not just to remove the charge the second thing is to to get rid of the solvation we can add suitable solvent so this suitable solvent you add suitable solvent to this so what happens is see, this particle loves solvent x let's suppose right these particles love solvent x but if you add solvent y to it the particles may not love solvent y it may hate solvent y and then it may become unstable correct so for example you love your school you love your school because of some teacher maybe you love your school because of your physics teacher or chemistry teacher if the teacher has left the school and some other teacher comes you may not love your school right because the reason why you loved your school was something else that was your teacher and the teacher has left the school you may not love the school same thing so these are the reason why this particle used to love the solvent was uh, because it used to love solvent x now if solvent y you are adding to this whole solvent the particles may not love this whole system right so that's what we do so for example, if I have a hydrophilic sol, this is let's suppose hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. That means I have water and some colloidal solution, right? Water plus some colloidal particle. Now in this, in this combination, if I add acetone or alcohol. See, if I if I'm talking about a hydrophilic sol and it is with water, that means the particles loves water. Now instead, if in on the in this solution, if you add acetone or alcohol, now the particles which love water will very sure short hate acetone or alcohol, right? Because we have seen this. So now the the particles which were there, which used to love water, but see this this loves water, but these particles also hate acetone and alcohol, right? Now. Since in this whole solution you are adding acetone, the particles here will hate acetone and alcohol. So it is easy to coagulate them. Now, now the moment you add uh, acetone or alcohol to this hydrophilic sol salts, dehydration of the dispersed phase occurs very easily. And under this condition, if you add on top of this, you add some electrolytes, done deal. You add some electrolytes, get rid of all the charge done deal, it will coagulate, correct? So to bring coagulation for lyophilic uh, substances, there are two things involved, you have to take care of both, right? You have to uh, take care of the charge, you have to remove the charge by any of the methods we have discussed. The best is uh, my electrolytes here because you have to take care of this scenario also solvation. So you have to get rid of the solvation by adding some suitable solvent please don't you have to add some suitable solvent if it is a hydrophilic sol 
you have to add acetone or alcohol right if it is, if it is a salt of alcohol plus some part, particle then you may have to add water hope you understand see in lyophobic uh, salt the only thing that was responsible for the stability was the charge on the colloidal particle so we discussed all the ways to remove the charge on the colloidal particle. But in hydrophilic salts, there are two factors that are responsible for the stability. One is the charge on the colloidal particle and other is the solvation. Solvation is nothing but the affinity of these particles for this solvent. Now if you want to destabilize it or you want to coagulate this lyophilic salts, you have to take care of both the scenarios, right? So the first, uh, for solvation, we add some suitable solvent, typically the solvent which the current colloidal particles hate so that again it, it becomes a little unstable and then to take care of the charge thing we just add electrolyte and with that coagulation occurs thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again